show safe back bends for beginners. We will start by warming up in order to create some space in the vertebral discs. First of all, we're going to rotate the neck, but if you don't feel comfortable, don't force this. Just make some half rotations like this. Okay, but if you feel comfortable, you can make a full rotation. Three to the right, three to the left. Slowly. And we have pressed to a safe time. Okay, one more. And now shoulder rotation. It is important and very connected because if your shoulder blades are stiff, you cannot move your shoulder blades down to lift your chest up. Okay, and then side bend several times. This is again to create space in the vertebral discs. And then simple mild twist. Same function. And now do cat and cow, which is very good to create space in the spine. Inhale, look up, arch your back in a slight back bend, and exhale, curl your spine. Inhale, and exhale. Don't go too intense, this is just a warm up. Ten sets. Okay. Lie prone on the floor, and then put your elbows down. Uh, feel that you can use your elbows to lift the chest. Yeah. Some people, when they put, when they stack their shoulders right above the elbows, they're like this. This is useless. So you need to walk your elbows forward. So you can do this, okay? Depending on your flexibility, some other people can stack the shoulders right above the elbows and still lift the chest. Which you need to feel the back bend from, upper back, okay? Don't relax your hips like this. Try to make as if you're in plank, not as strong, but there's some work of the core there, so as not to down on the lower back. Stay 15 to 30 seconds and repeat another one. And the second pose is place your hands on the floor with your palms on the floor, chin down and raise your legs. Don't put your shoulders down. Try to push the chest forward and slightly up and shoulders back away from your ears. Again, stay here for 15 to 30 seconds, rest, and do another one. And the third pose is puppy pose. Kneel with your palms facing each other, stretch your arms forward, and put your chin down, and put your chest down. If you can't, maybe you need some space. You need to move your knees back. Yeah. If you have space, you can stack your hips above your knees. Again, feel the upper back. Feel your shoulders moving away from your ears, down towards your butt, and your chest is forward and slightly up, your upper chest, your sternum. Again, 15 to 30 seconds, twice. And the fourth one is the combination. The feeling you have in swings, and then the raised, uh, the raising up of the legs, and then more upper back as if in the puppy pose. So first you raise your legs, you stack your uh, put your fingertips down, raise the chest, and then don't change anything, don't drop yourself. Stay here, fifteen to thirty seconds, rest and repeat. And then number five, bridge. 
feet parallel to each other, hip width apart, and raise your hips. It's not just raising your hips. This hip region should resist gravity. This is not resisting gravity. You will feel uncomfortable. Uh, you will feel discomfort here in the lower back. Instead, you have to use your legs to press, to push the heels up. Your legs should feel as if they are doing this movement. Yeah? You, you feel a lot here also. Strong thighs, flexible thighs, and quads is very important in safe back bends. So you need that. And then the last one is fish pose. If you have a yoga block, you can use it. Or if you don't have it, you can use a thick block or a strong, sturdy cardboard. This is again to open your upper back. Place it under the scapulas. Yeah, lie down. And try to roll the balls of your uh, humerus out. After about the same time, 15 to 13, 15 to 30 seconds, try to make it higher. Or higher, but don't force. So all together there are six poses and after practicing all of them, again, do some counter pose. This is like the beginning, but we, we're going to hold, not repeating, but hold. Okay. So side bend, just gently, five to ten seconds is enough and then twist. And then you can start to crawl your spine. And don't go anywhere. I'm going to show the progressions of each of the six poses that we just did. Stay tuned. And here is the progression of each pose. From swings, if this is very comfortable for you, you can start activating your back more. And with that, raise your elbows. Maybe you can walk your elbows back and maybe you can bend your knees and go to full cobra. Okay, and then the locus. In the second pose, you only raise the legs. In the fourth pose, you did this. From this, with strong back, grab your ankles and go up. You should feel as if you can kick the legs straight back. And now the puppy pose, if you feel comfortable, from here, you can slowly straighten the leg. And then from the bridge pose, with strong legs, place your hands near your shoulders, and push up into wheel pose. And last one, the fish pose with the blocks. Sit on your wrists, and then use your elbows to push your chest up and put the crown of your head down. Okay. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you feel the benefits. And if you have suggestions for the next videos, please comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice weekend. Namaste.